Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my youtube channel biology articles and mcqs today we are going to start urinary system of human as you know that uh, its name shows that a urinary system means as a system that is uh, used to excrete the urine from the body so the uh, main system uh, uh, of the body that helps in the excretion of the metabolic waste out from your body or you can say that that uh, helps uh, you to eliminate the toxin out from the, your body is called urinary system or excretory system if we talk about excretory system then the main um, uh, organs that are helping in excretion uh, or uh, uh, helping in moving the um, waste or toxin out from the body that are kidneys Guys, kidneys are very important organs that, um, that they help in the clearing of or cleaning of your body. So these are the main organs uh, that are uh, uh, that are helping in uh, or that are um, um, that have main focus on the urinary system or excretory system. You can uh, imagine that. The, the kidneys are very important um, organs that they receive 20% of the blood is supplied with each cardiac beat and their um, size is only oh, sorry their weight is only 1% of the total weight but they are receiving uh, almost 20% of the blood in from each cardiac beat or uh, from each heartbeat because it helps in the excretion of the waste that is present in your blood so starting the main urinary system or excretory system here are two kidney shown you know that the kidneys are the bean shaped organ and every human being have two kidneys present on each side one on the left side and one on the right side one thing you have to remember that the kidney that is present on the right side is slightly lower as compared to the kidney that is present on the left side because of the presence of liver because liver is a very large organ and it lowers the kidney that is present on the right side along with the kidney you can see the blood vessels are also connected blood because uh, the kidneys will uh, wash the waste or clear the waste that is present in the blood so it is uh, understood that uh, there should be the blood vessels that are present there are two types of blood vessels that are present uh, present one are the arteries that are red in color and the other are the veins that are uh, blue in color the blood will enter in the kidney through the help of the artery and these special arteries that are carrying blood into the kidney are called renal arteries and then after cleaning the blood will leave uh, through the kidney by the help of veins and these special veins will call renal veins that are leaving from the kidney and going um, and passing or supplying blood towards the heart so here uh, in the uh, kidney all the process begin and the urine is formed means all the uh, waste uh, uh, plus uh, excess amount of water that your body does not need will move to the um, uh, to outside the kidney by the help of a duct or small tubes uh, that are called ureter there are two ureters present one is leaving the right kidney and the other one is leaving the left kidney and these ureters are the connection between the kidneys and the next portion of the urinary system that is called urinary bladder urinary bladder is a sac like structure and it and the ureters will empty in the urinary bladder mainly urinary bladder help in the storage of urine for some time that if your body needs to store urine for some times it will be occurred here in the urinary bladder then from the urinary bladder the um, urine will pass uh, to, uh, to the urethra and there will be a, a, a orifice between the urinary bladder and urethra here there is an orifice orifice means there is an opening between the urinary bladder and the urethra and this opening is called urethral orifice
because it is present between or at the junction of urinary bladder and urethra urethra is a main tube that is leading outside the um, body and it will leave a urine to outside of the body and it and this a tube that is called urethra will leave uh, the body through an opening that is called urethral orifice so there are two openings uh, uh, one is the urethral orifice and the second one is the urethral orifice and this urethral orifice that is present outside the body help in the emptying of the urinary bladder means it will carry the urine outside the body but one thing that is most important is that there are also some muscles are present at the junction of urethra and urinary bladder at this portion <clears throat> this these muscles are mainly called sphincter muscles and these muscles are mainly concerned to control uh, urine for some time these sphincter muscles uh, you know that they are voluntary muscles they are under the conscious control of human body and they will help uh, or they will control the urine in the bladder for some time uh, these sphincter muscles are not uh, as such functioning in the uh, in the small babies but they are all functioning in the adult um, and the adult ones will control the blood uh, easily control the urine inside the urinary bladder hence in this way the uh, urine is moving to, uh, outside the body and this is all the system of urinary system and the main uh, uh, the main parts of the urinary system first one is kidney the second are the ureters the third is a urinary bladder and the fourth one is urethra these are the main parts of the urinary system that is helping in the emptying of the urine outside the body i hope you understand all about the urinary system of human being uh, it is also called excretory system you know and if the, if you like this video share this video with your friends thank you so much